Okay. So, curiosity got the best of me. And I took the rest of that chicken breast. Do, 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 do. And I made some chicken strips. Same flour, egg, and breading. The breading actually stuck really well. Filled in all the gaps. Sometimes when you use breading that's like big and crunchy like this, you can have gaps. And sometimes the oil will fall off. Or the, uh, the crust will fall off because the oil will get underneath it. So we're going to try and fry these bad boys. See what happens here. Now the oil is not super, super hot. You can see it's nice. And I'm not going to overcrowd the pan. <clears throat> Just because we're playing around here. No need to rush. Now I will say there's a chance that this might wreck your oil. Um, because of the seasoning on the outside of the Doritos and, you know, um, the, uh, the stuff floating off of it, some of the crust coming off of it. But we're going to fry these bad boys and see how they turn out. Who knows, maybe they'll turn out great. And uh, try them out. Okay, so they did fry to the point where they got done. Now you can see how thin the chicken is very, very small. It's, um, you know, a third of an inch, a quarter of an inch, whatever. They did get a little bit dark. And other than being hotter than the sun, um, they're not bad, actually. They don't taste uh, burnt or anything. So you might be able to get away with it if you do it nice and small like this. But if you cut it any thicker, you're never going to get the chicken done before the breading is too dark. So, here you go. Experiment complete.